What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another quick PS4 slash PS5 news update. So the flow has done it again. He's received a $10,000 bounty. I know we were just covering a $20,000 bounty from the flow a few days ago, but he's done it again, a $10,000 bounty. So yeah, the flow just seems to be on fire at the moment with these bug reports for the PS4 or PS5. Of course, we don't know which systems uh, this is for. So yeah, there's not much to really say on this at the moment. Of course, we don't know what's going on. We don't know if this will ever be disclosed, but it's still worth, you know, mentioning, at least updating you guys about this, because of course, it is the flow we're talking about. The same person who, you know, got us the 6.72, 7.02 and 7.55 jailbreaks uh, from his initial bug reports that he requested disclosure for, and they were eventually disclosed. So, of course, we don't know if these bug bounty reports will ever be disclosed. The fact that this is a $10,000 bounty, um, you know, usually points towards it being a kernel exploit because kernel exploits are always considered high severity reports. And typically, every other kernel exploit that has been, you know, made public from one of these reports, it has been from a $10,000 bounty. So, Therefore, whenever somebody gets a $10,000 bounty, that usually suggests it's a kernel exploit for either the PS4 or PS5. And uh, before anybody thinks that, you know, maybe they'll get more for a PS5 exploit, as I explained in my previous video, if you look at the policy, you can see PS5 and PS4, there is no different bounties for a PS5 exploit over a PS4 exploit. It is the same. So yeah, because of that, we don't know you know, if these bounties could be for PS4 or PS5. So, you know, it's possible that one of these is for PS5 and the other one is for PS4. Um, probably the $10,000 one for PS4. Maybe they, maybe he found a more critical error in the PS5 using a similar kind of exploit. But again, this is all speculation. We don't know anything until any of this gets disclosed. So the question is, can we still rely on Hacker One reports to get us new jailbreaks in the future? And that's something I'm not too sure about at this point, because there's been a lot of these $10,000 bounties and higher than $10,000 bounties going on. You know, 10,000, 20,000. We have another 10,000 from the flow four months ago. There was a there's um, $10,000 reports from CTURT as well that haven't been disclosed. So, you know, can we still rely on this? I mean, we did get the 6.72, 7.02 and 7.55 jailbreaks in the past, uh, which was great. But I feel like Sony's reluctant to, you know, allow these things to be disclosed now. That's my personal opinion. Again, it's just guessing. Um, but based on a few things, for example, it's not just down to the hacker requesting disclosure. Of course, it's totally possible that the flow is kind of fed up of the you know, PS4 modding scene and all the all the people who are, you know, constantly pestering him for a new jailbreak and, you know, complaining that they can't jailbreak their PS4s on 9.03 or 9.04 or whatever. So it could entirely be just down to that. It could be the flow just doesn't want to, you know, help the PS4 modding scene anymore. That's totally possible. But it could also be on Sony's side. It may even be more likely to be on Sony's side. So for example, if we look at the original uh, report that was fully disclosed, and this was the 6.72 to 7.02 jailbreak, essentially, that was disclosed here. So you can see the flow does request uh, to disclose the report. And then after that, there is a kind of review process. Um, so they're looking for a draft of the write-up you plan to disclose so it can be reviewed in advance. And then, you know, the hacker one staff bring it to PlayStation and PlayStation decide whether or not to approve uh, the report or not. As you can see, the PlayStation team will approve public disclosure of this report. So that happened, and then we got the 6.72 to 7.02 jailbreak from that. So then the next time it happens, and the flow wants to disclose a report, this time they're reluctant because of what happened last time. So this time they only partially disclose it, where they just have a brief summary of what the vulnerability is, uh, without really revealing too much and, you know, not revealing a full implementation on how to actually exploit the vulnerability, just showing that, hey, there's a vulnerability here and this is what the vulnerability is, but, you know, we're not going to show you how to exploit that vulnerability. We're not going to reveal that information. And, you know, therefore, uh, it took a bit longer, but it was, it's, it was still sufficient enough of a disclosure for a jailbreak to be figured out. It took a while, but Slayer's Gorvi managed to figure it out. 
Um, so even that limited disclosure was still enough. So because of that, I feel like Sony's probably go not going to want to reveal any more of this stuff, especially since the PS5 is out now. So even if it's a kernel exploit in the PS4 that the report is about, what if that vulnerability in the kernel also exists in the PS5 kernel? And therefore, if that information gets out for the PS4, then that could be an avenue to exploit the PS5, or at least a step in that direction of being able to eventually exploit the PS5. And Sony definitely don't want that to happen. So therefore, you know, I feel like it's unlikely that we're going to see a lot of these things get disclosed in the future, if any. Um, so I'm not, I'm not hedging all my bets on Hacker One anymore. It's still significant to talk about it whenever especially somebody like the flow receives a ten thousand dollar bounty because there's always it's happened before so it can happen again i just think playstation are really reluctant to allow anything to be disclosed you know after what happened the previous two times that th that information was disclosed so yeah anyway we'll wait and see hopefully something comes out of it i'm still hopeful that we will you know get some of these reports disclosed in the future but um yeah, I'm, I'm not hedging all my bets on it anymore. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.